Is there a fine line between protecting national borders and upholding human rights? The recent events in the UK certainly spark this debate. Let's dive into this complex issue. Immigration, a topic that has always been at the heart of political discourse, has taken an intriguing turn in the United Kingdom. The UK government has recently adopted a controversial policy that involves deporting asylum seekers to Rwanda. Yes, you heard that right. Rwanda, a country known for its own complicated history with human rights. This unorthodox approach to immigration has stirred up a whirlwind of criticism. Activists, human rights organizations and prominent figures alike have voiced their concerns about the potential implications of this policy. The United Nations High Commissioner for Refugees, an organization that is no stranger to the intricacies of asylum and migration, has opposed the UK-Rwanda asylum policy, stating that refugees should not be traded or transferred for processing. The UK's decision is not without its legal hurdles. Several legal challenges have been mounted to block these deportations. While these have so far been unsuccessful, the courts have yet to pass a final verdict on the policy's legality. The policy, some argue, is a response to the government's pressure to take a hardline stance on migrants. This stance was a significant aspect of the Brexit campaign's promise to control borders. However, it's worth noting that the UK is not the first country to adopt such measures. Australia and Israel have previously used similar tactics, with results that have been mixed at best and have attracted criticism for human rights abuses. As the UK grapples with this issue, it's clear that the line between border security and human rights is indeed blurred. The question remains, is this a necessary evil for border control or a dangerous precedent that compromises human rights? As we delve further into this topic in the next scenes, remember, the answers are rarely black and white. In June 2022, the UK government signaled a new approach to asylum seekers, setting a potentially dangerous precedent. The policy, which involved deporting asylum seekers to Rwanda, immediately drew criticism from activists, human rights organizations and prominent figures worldwide. But what led to this controversial decision? The UK-Rwanda asylum policy was born out of pressure on the British government to take a hardline stance on migrants, following the Brexit campaign's promise to control borders. This approach, however, was not unprecedented. Similar tactics had been used by Australia and Israel, with mixed results and criticism for human rights abuses. The policy faced legal challenges right from the get-go. Despite efforts to block the deportation, the courts were unable to rule on the policy's legality, leaving it in a state of limbo. Meanwhile, the policy continued to make waves internationally. The UN High Commissioner for Refugees voiced opposition, stating that refugees should not be traded or transferred for processing. This stance underscored concerns about Rwanda's human rights record and the potential implications of such a policy on a global scale. As the controversy continued to brew, the UK government decided to take a decisive step. In December 2023, it published an emergency bill, the Safety of Rwanda Bill, to bypass legal hurdles and deem Rwanda a safe country for deportations. This move was seen as a way to control borders and deter illegal migration, further echoing the sentiments of the Brexit campaign. Despite the controversy, the UK government stood firm, leading to the introduction of an emergency bill. This bill, which bypassed certain human rights provisions and allowed courts to ignore injunctions from international bodies, marked a significant turning point in the UK's approach to immigration and asylum seekers. But as we will see in the next scene, the story doesn't end here. In December 2023, the UK government published the Safety of Rwanda Bill, a move that would alter the trajectory of its immigration policy. This emergency bill was designed to allow a controversial deportation scheme to Rwanda, a nation that the legislation deemed a safe country for deportations. The safety of Rwanda bill is a pivotal tool in the UK's immigration strategy. It aims to overcome legal obstacles and streamline the deportation process. The central tenet of the bill is to control borders and deter illegal migration, a promise that has been central to the government's stance on immigration. However, the bill doesn't just deal with the logistics of deportation, it also delves into the realm of human rights law. The legislation bypasses certain human rights provisions, and in doing so, allows courts to disregard injunctions from international bodies. This aspect of the bill has sparked significant controversy, leading to the resignation of the then immigration minister. Despite this, the bill received support from high-ranking officials, including Prime Minister Rishi Sunak, 
He viewed the bill as a necessary measure to control borders and deter illegal migration, aligning with the government's broader immigration policy. Yet, it's important to note that the bill was far from unanimously supported. Opposition was strong, with critics voicing concerns about the impact on human rights and the potential risks involved in deporting asylum seekers to countries with questionable safety records. The bill, however, was not without opposition, and its passing marked a critical point in the UK's immigration history. The passing of the bill in April 2024 was met with a tragic incident, shedding light on the human cost of such policies. In the immediate aftermath of the bill's approval, a heartbreaking event unfolded that echoed the deep concerns voiced by critics. Five asylum seekers, including a child, lost their lives attempting to cross the English Channel from France to Britain in an overcrowded boat. This tragic incident underscores the desperation of those seeking refuge and the life-threatening risks they are willing to take. The UK government's new policy has not been without international criticism, with concerns about its potential impact on global migration cooperation. The United Nations High Commissioner for Refugees has expressed opposition to the UK-Rwanda asylum policy, stating that refugees should not be traded or transferred for processing. This stance highlights the international community's apprehension about the potential for human rights abuses and the repercussions this could have on global migration trends and practices. There's also the issue of setting a precedent. Other European countries are reportedly exploring similar agreements to process asylum seekers in third countries. If successful, the UK's policy could become a model for others, potentially reshaping global norms around asylum processing. However, if it results in widespread human rights abuses, it could also serve as a cautionary tale. It's clear that the policy's outcomes will have far-reaching implications, not just for asylum seekers, but for the international community as a whole. As the UK prepares to implement this policy, the world watches closely, aware of the potential ripple effects. As we reflect on these events, it's clear that the immigration issue is a complex one with far-reaching implications. The United Kingdom's decision to deport asylum seekers to Rwanda is an audacious policy move, one that has sparked a myriad of responses and reactions across the globe. On one hand, proponents of the UK-Rwanda policy argue that it is an effective measure to control borders and deter illegal migration. They believe that this could potentially alleviate the pressure on the UK's immigration system and curtail the perilous journeys asylum seekers often undertake. For the Conservative Party, the tough stance on immigration could bolster support among their voter base thus improving their electoral prospects. On the other hand, this policy has been met with fierce criticism. Human rights activists and organizations have expressed concerns about Rwanda's human rights record, raising questions about the safety and well-being of the asylum seekers. They argue that refugees should not be traded or transferred for processing and that this policy could set a dangerous precedent. Moreover, there are broader implications at play. The UK-Rwanda policy has the potential to reshape the global narrative on migration, influencing how other nations approach their own immigration policies. It could encourage other countries to follow suit, thereby shifting the burden of hosting refugees to nations with questionable human rights records. This could undermine international cooperation on migration and jeopardize the rights of asylum seekers worldwide. In essence, the UK-Rwanda policy is a gamble. It's a fine balance between controlling borders, upholding human rights and maintaining international relations. Whether this policy will achieve its intended goals or exacerbate the very problems it seeks to solve remains to be seen. The world continues to watch as the UK charts a new course in its approach to immigration.